The purpose of this video presentation is to guide you in the sales role at Skaters and how to use their enterprise system to conduct work and activities in their core business processes. First we will take a look at the different system screens used by the sales function. Then we will demonstrate the actual system and how to navigate within it. Finally, we will highlight various activities and knowledge, theory and practice that may be brought together in this role so that you can make recommendations to skaters and improve your learning. Once you have installed and configured the software and are ready to go and have pressed start, then you can log in as the sales manager and the main user interface that you'll see is the sales manager home form. This shows active sales orders, the sales performance and allows you to enter new orders when customers place them with you, typically by email. The order details form that you can see in front of you allows you to capture customer information and various other information from the order. You can also view customers and products and various other information within the system. It is important to read the various chapters from the textbook and we'll mention some of these later in this video presentation. First, let's take a look at actually using the system. So you'll start by clicking on the start part of the simulation software. But if you want to, you can also use the practice function before you do this. Once you start, various message boxes may appear giving you information to help you with the simulation. Just click on OK once you have read these. When you first open the application, there'll be information about how the system operates and about the simulation itself. And then you'll find the main login dialog box, which you'll return to each time you conduct various work within the system. If you click on the employee drop down, then you choose the role that you want to use. And typically you'll start by selecting the sales manager role to conduct sales activities as you role play within the system. So the first interface that will load will be the main sales homepage and you'll see the skaters clock up above. On the sales homepage you can see various information from a sales management perspective. You can see the CCTV in skaters by clicking on the skaters icon. You can also see progress in the progress bar and if you click on the task information you can see your various tasks that you need to do during the simulation and any progress that you've made within it. The system will routinely check for emails and notify you about this. And from the 
simulation test progress form, you'll be able to fast track aspects of the simulation and you'll find out more about this later. You can also check for email using the Outlook icon. When email arrives, you'll be notified about it and you can click on the email button. This will open the various emails and if you're in the sales role, these may be, for example, things like sales orders from different customers. Sometimes there'll be an attachment with the purchase order, other times the sales information will simply be in the email itself. If you click on the attachment, you can open the PDF with the purchase order detailing the sales information from the customer. So from this, you'll be able to identify the customer, the products that they want, uh, and other information. So the first thing to do will be click on the Add New Order button, and then transfer the relevant information from the purchase order or the customer sale information into the order details form within Skaters. So first that'll mean selecting the customer from the drop-down, in this case, Kickflip, and then if there is one, you'll enter the purchase order number. And then the product information. In this case, Kickflip want 10 black helmets. So we select black helmets. We can see that there's 59 in the warehouse. So there's plenty there and we'll be able to fulfill this order straight away. Having selected the product, we'll type in the quantity in this case 10, and then when you click on the other fields, it'll automatically populate the price and status. Notice how the status changed to allocated because there was sufficient product in the warehouse to fulfill this straight away. So we can go to shipping information and calculate the shipping costs. The customer is located in zone one. If we click on the calculate shipping, we can see the shipping costs, and then we can invoice the customer. We can only invoice when the goods have been allocated and the shipping costs calculated. So an invoice will be generated. You can study that, but this will be kept as a copy of a document into your Skaters documents folder. So we can see the status has now changed to invoiced. And if we look in the active orders for the sales role, we can see this order for this customer and the status invoiced. From this form, we can do various other activities. Uh, we can have a look at all of the orders in order history. We can look at customers. We can look at products. From the customer list, we can click on any particular customer. In this case, we've just been working with Kickflip. So if we looked at the Kickflip customer by just clicking on it, We can see details of this customer, where they're located. And you'll notice that there's a tab called orders. If we click on that, we can see all the purchases that they've made with us and the overall value this customer is to skaters in terms of how much money they've spent with us. We can even click on various historic orders and have a look at the information behind them. In the first year or two of operating, the sales manager is also responsible for much of the marketing activity for the organization. So they'll also be concerned with things like the product portfolio, pricing and various other things that may eventually fall under the role of marketing. Again, if we look at Skater's products, uh, we've just been looking at the Black Helmet. So if we have a look at the Black Helmet product, we can see various information about that in terms of stocking levels, how to price it, how to manage it from an inventory management perspective. And all of this information can be accessed from the product details form. In the cost allocation tab, we can see suggestions about pricing. And in the inventory management tab, we can see various information to enable us to calculate things like the uh, supply 
and demand issues and when to order new stock. The economic order quantity formula is also available within this interface. OK, returning to the Skaters homepage, if we want to check any emails, we can click on the Outlook button and then Send Receive uh, will pull through any emails that may be waiting. As the sales manager, you may receive sales orders from customers. You may also receive emails about customer service issues or establishing new customers, products and various other things. And these will form the various tasks that you have to complete as the sales manager. When you've finished, simply log out. So there'll be various activities for you to complete as the sales manager. At the end of the simulation, then there'll be various things for you to do in terms of analyzing the activities that you've undertaken and determining how you can improve things at the skaters organization. Various chapters in the Management Theory and Practice textbook will help you understand your role better and also how to make improvements. I've listed some of those chapters on this slide. So as the sales manager, there'll be various challenges for you to face. In the first year or two of the simulation, then you'll also be undertaking various marketing activities. But by the time we get to the third year, we may have been able to recruit a dedicated marketing manager. But for now, you'll need to consider these challenges as well. So I've listed those challenges. Have a read of those and think about those when you're making various recommendations to improve the organization after you have done the simulation. OK, so that's pretty much everything that we need to cover for now with regard to the sales manager role and using the skaters system. And we hope that you learn more about management theory and practice by engaging with the simulation and drawing on the book to help you understand the various activities from this role's perspective.